Do you remember Rob Schremp? Schremp was once hailed as one of the most promising young talents in the NHL. Known for his exceptional playmaking and goal scoring abilities, as well as his remarkable stick handling skills, Schremp's future seemed bright. However, despite his success in junior hockey, he was unable to achieve the same level of success in the NHL and tragically faded from the professional hockey scene. In today's video, we explore Schremp's career, the challenges he faced, and where he is is now. Rob Schremp made a name for himself in the OHL as one of the most talented and promising young hockey players globally. His junior career began with the Mississauga Ice Dogs in Ontario. In his debut season in 2002-2003, Schremp earned Rookie of the Year honors at just 16 years old. He led all rookies in scoring, amassing 74 points, including 26 goals over 65 games. Fun fact, the OHL first all-rookie team in 2002-03 also featured Wojtek Walski, Brent Burns, and Mark Giordano. In his second OHL season, Rob Schremp was traded to the powerhouse London Knights after playing just three games with the Ice Dogs. The Knights boasted a roster filled with future NHL stars such as Corey Perry, Dave Boland, Brandon Prust, and Dennis Weidman. Despite securing the best record in the OHL, the Knights were defeated by the Guelph Storm in the conference finals, with Guelph going on to win the OHL championship. Schremp's performance that season was somewhat average by his standards. He scored 75 points, including 30 goals, in 63 games, just barely surpassing his rookie season's points total. In the 2004 NHL entry draft, Rob Schremp was chosen in the first round, 25th overall by the Edmonton Oilers. It was during Schremp's third OHL season in 2004-05 that he truly began to establish himself as one of hockey's top prospects. After another predictably successful season with the London Knights, Schremp significantly improved his points total, netting 41 goals and earning 90 points in 62 games. Additionally, he excelled in the playoffs, scoring 13 goals and 29 points in 18 games, helping to lead the Knights to both the OHL and Memorial Cup championships. During the 2004-05 season, Rob Schremp was selected to represent the USA at the World Junior Hockey Championship, where he scored four goals and five points in seven games. In his final OHL season, Schremp was simply unstoppable. He scored an impressive 57 goals and 88 assists in just 57 games, totaling 145 points. This remarkable performance earned him the Eddie Powers Memorial Trophy as the league's top scorer. Schremp continued his outstanding play in the playoffs, where he scored 10 goals and accumulated 47 points in only 19 games. Although the Knights ultimately lost in the OHL final, Rob Schremp had firmly established himself as one of the most exciting and talented young players headed for the NHL. Check out these insane highlights from Schremp's career with London. He was not only a fantastic playmaker, but also possessed a powerful shot. Schremp enjoyed adding some emphatic goal celebrations to his repertoire as well. Unfortunately, the success Schremp experienced in his junior career did not carry over to the NHL. He struggled to produce offensively and to secure a full-time spot on the roster. In his first professional season, Rob Schremp spent the entire year with the Wilkes Bar Scranton Penguins, the Oilers' AHL affiliate at the time. Despite a strong season where he 
scored 17 goals and 53 points in 69 games, Schremp only appeared in one NHL game with the Oilers. In his second professional season, Schremp played with the Springfield Falcons in the AHL. He had another impressive season, scoring 23 goals and 76 points in 78 games. However, when called up by the Oilers again, he failed to register a point in his two NHL games. During his third season, Schremp again played primarily with the Falcons, scoring seven goals and adding 35 assists for 42 points in 69 games. In another brief stint with the Oilers, he recorded three assists in four games. During his brief time with the Edmonton Oilers, Rob Schremp showcased his exceptional puck handling skills and performed some never-before-seen moves. Before the 2009 season, Schremp was claimed off waivers by the New York Islanders. In New York, he secured a regular roster spot and began to contribute offensively, scoring seven goals and 25 points in 44 games during the 2009-10 season and 10 goals and 22 points in 45 games during the 2010-11 season. In 2010-11, Schremp was claimed off waivers by the Atlanta Thrashers. After playing an additional 18 games in Atlanta, Schremp's professional hockey career in North America came to an uneventful close. After leaving the NHL in 2011, Schremp played in various leagues across Europe, including the Swedish Elite Elite League, Continental Hockey League, Austrian League, and the Swiss National League. However, unlike other players who found success in Europe after their NHL careers, Schremp's career continued to decline since his standout days with the London Knights. Rob Schremp possessed all the attributes a hockey player could wish for. Speed a powerful shot, incredible stick handling, and a high hockey IQ. Despite being slightly undersized at 5'10", Schremp played with a tenacity that made him seem larger on the ice, which, in retrospect, did not hinder his career. So, what went wrong? Many attribute Schremp's struggles to his inability to adapt his junior playing style to the NHL. According to Todd Richards, who coached Schremp in Wilkes Bar Scranton, Schremp continued to play a junior style of hockey against the bigger, stronger, and faster players in the AHL. He failed to recognize that the strategies that worked for him in junior hockey would not necessarily be effective in the professional ranks. After after a brief stint back in the AHL during the 2015-2016 season with the Portland Pirates, where he recorded a respectable 42 points in 75 games, Rob Schremp returned to Europe to continue his playing career for three more seasons. In 2018, Schremp announced his retirement from hockey. He now continues his journey in the sport through coaching and mentorship. In the end, when North American hockey fans think about Rob Schremp, they are likely to remember what he could have been rather than what he ultimately became.